Welcome, this is your Option Monster Volatility Sonar Report. From the floor of the SIBO, this is Jamie Tyrrell of Group One Trading. Well, Friday we had a real scare in the market. Goldman Sachs coming out with the negative SEC charge. And since then we've really rallied. The S&P up both Monday and today, and the VIX is in full retreat. We're down to 16.15 on the VIX, and today the final trading of the April expiration cycle. And you could see what the paper was trying to do early and often. We opened up at 8.30 Chicago time, and immediately we had a big, big buyer for the April 17 puts. They paid 60 cents, 65, 70, 75, 80. And now those puts are even worth more. And the strike people are playing right now is the 16 put. The future is sitting about 16.30, and several different brokers are paying 15 cents for the 16 put. So these, <clears throat> these traders who are buying these are looking for a settlement below 16, or they're looking for a lot of movement during the trading day today so they can scalp back and forth their long option premium. So far we've had about 20,000 of the 17 puts trade, we've had over 10,000 of the 16 puts trade, and you can see a lot more volume going up on those lines than the upside call lines. Hasn't really been a lot of interest in the 19s, which are now at a nickel. The 18s are a nickel bid, but that's been fading throughout the day. And they haven't really traded much, either a nickel or a dime, and that's the market on those. So heading into expiration, the 16 put in play, that's trading 15 cents. The 17 call in play, that's trading a dime at 15, but not much volume going up. The real interesting trade today has been in a back month. <clears throat> The July 18 put, a customer came in and bought that 80,000 times. They paid 80 cents, traded all right here. They crossed most of the order, meaning a facilitating bank was interested in selling the other side of that trade. They wanted to do as much as they could against this customer trade, and the crowd filled in on the rest. So it's an interesting trade because we've also had all those call spreads in the back month in the VIX, the 1720 in June, 1720 in July, 1720 in August. Customers selling those. So there's been a lot of bearish VIX paper, a lot of people thinking that these teen levels that we're in right now in the VIX cash should be where the back month futures are, even those are 22, 23. So this is yet another trade where someone's trying to bet the downside on the VIX. We've certainly seen the move downside in April. Time will tell if we'll see that downside move for the summer months. Jamie Tiro with Group One Option Monster. Hello everyone, welcome to the Volatility Sonar. This is Noah Warsaw coming from the ETF Super Pit. For those of you old time SIBO folks, this is the former IBM pit. Used to be one of the most busy pits on the floor. And we're still seeing a fair amount of action in there even today. This morning we got a bright, a weird awakening when we saw volatility sellers in EEM. Specifically, they sold 10,000 of the June 44 calls for $1.16 with stock at 42.60. Implied volatility obviously coming in in that name as optimism for global growth continues to get better given the fact that we're seeing the broad market rally after Friday's sell-off. Volatility is in across the board. I came to you yesterday and told you how vol was coming in after the huge explosion Friday in XLF. And today there's no, no different story to be told. Seeing volatility sellers in XLF in May and June, both calls and puts, and now the term structure is becoming a bit more contangoed rather than the really flat vol structure we saw on Friday when you saw the huge vol spike. Front month vol in XLF, May, is now back down to 25, so coming in greatly from the highs we saw earlier. We're seeing a, red, a, a great degree of volatility sellers across the board in a variety of other names. Some of the busy products that trade in this pit are XLE, which is Spider Energy, XRT, which is Spider S&P Retail, and all those names, the story remains the same. Volatility sellers, simply because of the fact that there just appears to be no major catalyst outside financial legislation or perhaps sovereign debt in Europe that can really slow down this bull market. We'll remain to see what happens uh, with direction of markets, but the reality of the, of the fact is, is it's hard to own vol when we're consistently moving up and the VIX is slowly moving in. Uh, we'll see how the rest of the week plays out, but for now, uh, nobody, nobody, wants to buy, nobody wants to own. And that's a wrap from me. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in and have a great trading week.